Hey, you don't understand that they severely injured me. They, I have severe, chronic, fatal nerve disease, and they cuffed my hands behind my back for three hours. And they didn't give me a wheelchair. That's why I'm saying that if there's a... No wheelchair, so I had to walk on linoleum with no shoes for 12 hours. I got cold. Uh, they took my dog away. And they wouldn't let me have a wheelchair. And I got a fungal infection now. And my nerves are damaged. And it, it hurt my heart because I was angry, standing up, cold weather, and afraid on stimulants. And now I can't really... I guess you wouldn't testify. I've had previous psychiatrists say that they testify that, and you just, you don't stand up for anything. You don't stand up for me. I don't feel like you're acting in my best interest. And the best I could hope for is not to be abandoned and run out of medication now that we had all these goals. It's not a complex issue. You've been treating me for a year and every other doctor I ever had gave me this letter or was able to say that to someone or called me back during an emergency or kept a promise. And now I'm in bed. Uh, I'm they injured my nerves. There, there, there was no cushion in the back seat of the car. You. you think I could, if I can't handle a trip to the city and back, how is it uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, tortured, and no wheelchair, driving Ubers all over Long Island, and then a whole nother day to get my dog out of the pound? Like, you don't seem to even think it's a big deal. I can't even tolerate... No, I, 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 I do believe it's I a can't be afraid. I, I, I advocated, Jason, e even without having, you know, when they called me on Friday, I advocated for you to not be in the hospital for precisely this reason. 